Hi, in this presentation we're going to do some examples of rigid orientation preserving linear transformations in R3 uh, using a teapot. I'm going to use a physical teapot for a moment and then we'll use a more reliable computer teapot in just a second. But um, here's the general principle is that if you have a rigid orientation preserving map that's linear in R3 or just hold, even hold, just hold the origin fix in R3, then it's a rotation r theta u around some axis u uh, with the axis passing through the origin. So here's a teapot. It's a rigid object. The Utah teapot's a traditional object in computer graphics to do things with. Um, this is not a Utah, Utah teapot. It's the one from my kitchen. Uh, but you can think about here's the teapot. Z axis is forward, X axis is uh, that way y-axis is upward, and if you rotate around the x-axis, for instance, right-hand rule takes it um, this way. There's positive rotation around the x-axis. Around the y-axis is this way. Around the z-axis is this way. And so, but more generally, so this gives you some axis-aligned rotations. More generally, though, if I can take this thing and squiggle it all around, and I end up with some new orientation, and the claim is that there's a single axis of rotation that takes the teapot from this orientation back to its standard orientation. So we're starting here, and there's some way to take the teapot, which I didn't just yet show you, that takes it with a single axis of rotation back to a standard place. So I'm going to see if I can do this with my fingers. I touch two sides of the teapot, and holding those fingers, see, I didn't work, right? But if I go more here, let me see. That's a little closer. Let me actually try the other way. So here. There we are. There I found a nice single axis rotation that takes the teapot from that configuration up. Now, even with having pre-prepared, it was a little hard for me to find the axis rotation. This is a sign that it's actually rather hard for us to visualize things in three space. So uh, it's actually harder than we think to visualize things in three space because we don't usually think about rotations on arbitrary axes. We usually think about having a preferred up direction uh, and so forth, and so um, a per preferred forward direction for left and right direction because we're always facing in particular ways. But be that as it may, this theorem does tell us that we can always find a single axis of rotation to take a rigid object back to its starting configuration. So I'm going to pause here and we're going to switch to the computer. So in this demo program, we see a, a teapot, and it's in its standard configuration right now. We're looking at it from the side. I can take my mouse and drag it. As I do this, you see a red rotation axis show up. And this is the rotation axis that will take the rotated teapot back to its original configuration. So I hit the animate button there, and you can see the teapot is rotating on the axis. Notice where the red axis comes out of the teapot. That's stays fixed on the same location on the surface of the teapot as it rotates. The same is true on the back side as well. And no matter how I rotate the teapot, if I drag from mouse from left to right, it rotates on the y-axis. From top to bottom, it rotates on the x-axis. And no matter how I end up with the teapot there, there's a fixed rotation axis shown with that red line that takes us from the standard configuration to the newly rotated place. And this illustrates the theorem that says that any rigid orientation preserving linear map can be represented as a rotation around a fixed axis through the origin in three space. Um, you might be wondering here if I've cheated a little bit with this, because here I have the ability to go left and right and rotate around the y-axis or up and down and rotate around the x-axis, but what about rotating around the z-axis? There's no immediate mouse control that lets us do that. Nonetheless, rotating around the x and the y-axis gives us everything we could possibly need uh, because I can do little small circular motions in the middle of the teapot and generate a rotation around the z-axis. So by combining x and y axis rotations here in the way of jiggling around the center, I've generated 
and a ro teapot rotated around the z-axis pointing out towards us. And that's the end of this presentation. Thank you very much.